Now the number 5 case on my list is actually going to be split in two different ways. The first one is going to be the clutch case. I think the clutch case is in a pretty solid position for the price point it's offering. It's not too expensive to the point where you're going to be busting out a lot of money to get one of these cases, but it's also cheap enough to the fact that you're going to be able to get a lot of them at the current price point. I definitely think it's going to be one that you're going to have a longer hold on because it's definitely got a fair amount of supply still that it needs to eat through, but overall I think the clutch case is in a decent position. The second one's going to be the CS20 case. Now if you know me, I absolutely despise the CS20 case. I think it's just such a bad case personally, but the facts do not lie. If we want to look at unboxing numbers, it's not the most unboxed when we're talking about rare cases at all, but it's on a lower supply and it's on a little bit of a cheaper price point right now. You're going to be able to pick up for some of these at around 70 cents compared to a dollar or a dollar and 10 cents for some of those other cheaper rare cases. I definitely don't think it's on the same level as those other ones, but I definitely think it's going to be increasing in price overall when we see this hype come back into the case market. These two cases are not my personal favorites, that's why they're only number five, but I definitely still see some potential with them. Skinland is today's sponsor and they're giving you a $10 bonus with code Master Shiny just to try them out. They're my go-to selling spot with the highest rate for sellers and it's super easy to use. They're going to be currently the best option paying over 100% when you use that $10 bonus. They're super trusted when it comes to transactions and it took me just about two minutes for me to get my over $200 from this Emerald German Gander. They've got tons of different payout options and they're also going to be having a super low fee buyer's marketplace. It's super easy, tons of deals cheaper than Steam and tons of different deposit options. This deal won't last forever. Make sure you check them out today with that top link in the description. Now talking about active duty cases, this is one of the most interesting areas inside of the case market for the past month. That's because specifically they've been up around 35 to 40 percent for the majority of them inside of the past month, which is absolutely insane for any case, let alone some active duty. This is a very big caveat that comes with this area. Obviously, we want to make potential investments into active duty if they're at the right price point. Right now, they're really expensive for this area. And if we want to look at unboxing numbers, they're making up about 75 to 76 percent of unboxing numbers inside of the past month. Very high numbers, which is good for the cases inside of the active duty. But overall, it's bad considering the fact is I don't think there's going to be much investment potential because we're looking for a low entry point on active duty cases. We're not seeing that here. Therefore, I would not be picking up any of these in the current market. Number four on my list is actually going to be going to the snake bite. Standing alone this time without the clutch case, it's finally upgraded to case number four for a couple big reasons. First up, we're going to be talking about price point. Overall, we've seen a lot of movement inside the case market for the past month, and this has been a very good beneficial thing for nearly all cases. Snake bite has not really seen this huge significant movement. Obviously, it's up a fair amount. This is just because it's got a fair amount of supply. It's at a lower price point. It's going to be taking a lot to get this thing absolutely crazy in price. And I think that's actually a positive thing, especially in this example. It gives you a pretty cheap opportunity if you're looking to get into a rare case. I mean, we're looking at under 30-ish cents. Absolutely insane. It's a great price point for a lot of things, let alone a rare case in today's market. And therefore, I definitely think the snake bite over the past month has really proven itself that it definitely does have some potential inside this area. Obviously, the supply is absolutely massive and you can't forget about that. But overall, I think the snake bite is definitely one that if you're looking for a long-term play that you're not going to have to worry about, could be a very strong potential piece in your portfolio. Now, talking about those discontinued cases, honestly, I don't think things could be going much better inside this area. When we're talking about our esports cases, we're not really too interested. They're at a really expensive price point. But talking about those Riptide, Shattered White, and Broken Fang, honestly, the supply on these things seems to be theoretically running out. Obviously, we know there's a fair amount of supply that's hidden away, but when we're looking at Steam community market listings, people are not too interested in currently selling out these cases. That's led to a little bit of a higher price point. Obviously, don't trust these numbers. These are not actual supply, but it gives give us a reasonable input in seeing how people are feeling about these cases, and a lot of people want to hold on to these cases because they think they're great investments. We're going to have to see. They're already at a super expensive price point, but obviously these cases are discontinued. There is no more supply coming in. Now, my number three case, without a doubt, has to be going to the Chromas. Now, the Chroma 3 is specifically what I'm going to be choosing for this list because honestly, when we're looking at the Chroma cases overall, they're very similar in terms of what they're bringing to the table. Everything is about the knives, and therefore, I don't think differentiating is going to be doing it too much. We're looking for the cheapest price point, but the Chroma 3 is definitely on the stronger side. Talking about unboxing numbers, this thing is always consistently coming in at the upper echelon when we're talking about those more expensive rare cases, and I think it's going to be a great balancing for your inventory. Obviously, it's a little bit more of an expensive price point, and don't get me started on it nearly reaching $3. That's absolutely insane. It's definitely one that if you're looking for a little bit more of a stable investment that you're not going to have to worry about at all, this is definitely the area to look into it. We're going to be talking a little bit more risky in a quick second, but the Chroma cases are a solid price point. They're solid demand. They've got a solid supply, and overall, they're really solid. If you're looking for a case that's going to be costing you a little bit more, this is probably going to be my number one option for most people, but overall, it's not number one on the list. Now, usually there's a little bit of a battle to see what's number two and what's number one. This week, it was no discussion. Number two is definitely going to be the Danger Zone case, and that's because the Danger Zone case has actually been doing so well. If you want to look at it, the Danger Zone case has absolutely exploded over the past month, up 35-ish percent, and it's been stable. It's been keeping this price point, which is really, really good for investors, but unfortunately, when we're talking about this list, we're looking at the best prices to buy at, and I can't really say it's number one because it's actually really expensive, overall speaking. I don't think this case long-term is going to actually be too impacted by the fact that it's over a dollar 
dollar right now, but it's in a very strong position long term, and the price point definitely reflects that. I mean, this is a very solid case. The unboxing know, numbers definitely show it. It's always top three when we're talking about our cheaper rare cases, and therefore it's definitely a very strong case, but it's also coming at it a little bit more of an expensive price point. And I think this is once again a sign of the times. These cases are going to be getting more and more expensive every single time you watch this video, every single time you wait. Theoretically, cases, especially these rare ones, are going to be going up in price. So I would say don't wait, get into the cases you want today. Now, my favorite case that's actually going to be number six on the list is going to be the revolver case. Now, it was very close to becoming number five, but the problem with this is I don't really have a ton of options for the list. And overall, we're looking at a lot of cheaper cases because those have a lot of upside. Revolver is on a little bit more of the expensive side. It's very similar to the Chroma 3 that it's sitting at around that two to three dollar price range, but it's a very strong case. Overall, the revolver has one of the most opportunities inside of this area, in my personal opinion. You've got the OG knives. It's got a lot of demand that goes with it. The unboxings are great. The supply is relatively low. I would say overall, if you're looking for something similar to the Chroma 3 and you don't want the Chroma 3, Revolver is definitely going to be my next suggestion. Now, when we're talking about cases that fly a little bit under the radar, the one that I'm always checking out is going to be the Wildfire case. I think it's a very strong case overall, held back by the fact that it's got the Wildfire Bowie knife. Obviously, this is not a very ideal thing. We can check out the Shadow case. We can look at the Falchion case. These are cases that are held back by knives, and it's a very strong problem inside of this area. Wildfire is a little bit different. It's got that AK-47 fuel injector. I think it's a very strong looking case, and I definitely think it's one that you should be considering. Obviously, the Bowie knife is not everyone's favorite. It does have its second hand now, and overall, I don't think it's going to be the most profitable case out there. It's a great balancing case, and I definitely think it's worth you checking out. And finally, wrapping up the unique cases, we often talk about the Gamma 1 and the Gamma 2. Now, the biggest problem that comes with the Gammas is the fact that they're so similar. Usually, consumers or the people unboxing cases can't really differentiate between which case is going to be better. Therefore, both of them end up at pretty similar price points with pretty similar unboxing numbers, but it's finally starting to change. If we want to look at it, the Gamma 2 is once again starting to pull away quite significantly from the Gamma 1 in terms of unboxing numbers. I would say definitely if we're looking at the supply, we're looking at everything. Gamma 2 is going to be the one that you're going to be wanting to check out, even if the price point is slightly higher. This is the case you want to look for. It's definitely something you need to know moving forward. Now, without a doubt, the easiest decision of the video is going to be the number one case, and it's going to be the Prisma 1 and the Prisma 2. Don't blame me for putting two cases here, but these cases are so crazy right now, it's hard to pass them. If we want to look at unboxing numbers, they are coming in at the top of the rare cases, which is absolutely insane. But if we want to look at the price, the Prisma 1 is looking at like 84 cents maximum. The Prisma 2 is like 90. These are super good price points when we're talking about these cases. We're talking about the unboxing numbers. We're talking about the supply. Everything about these cases makes me go absolutely crazy because I think they're in a perfect position to absolutely blow up. We saw it a little bit with the danger zone, how it went up 30%. I think obviously the Prisma 1 and the Prisma 2 have gone up a little bit. I think they've still got a strong amount of uncapped potential inside of this area. The unboxing numbers definitely show people love these cases. Inside of them, they've got desirable enough knives. The skins are decent enough. I think overall, it's a really good opportunity if you're looking to get into a cheaper rare case. Prisma 1, Prisma 2 are 100% going to be my recommendations. That's all I got. Thank you so much. I hope you're great today.